Today I'm going to share with you a very, very powerful law, the seventh law of a property investor. And I'm going to show you that the difference between knowing how to apply this law and not knowing how to apply this law is going to be in the vicinity of 104 million over a period of time. Now, take into consideration it's for the same amount of time over the same time period. It's for exactly the same investment amount. It's basically the same time and effort. In other words, blood, sweat and tears that's going to go into it. But one person that applies the seven laws and specifically the seventh law is going to have about 104 million rands more here in South Africa than a person that does not know about this law and apply this law. So I think it's important that you pay very close attention. Now, if you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome. And uh, I'm Hannes Dreyer. I'm the founder of the Wealth Creators Method, where we help entrepreneurs and investors to create, to grow and to protect their wealth by simply applying the Wealth Creator Strategy. And by applying this Wealth Creator Strategy in a very specific order, we call that the Wealth Creators Method. Now, there's not a lot of ways to really build long-term wealth, but you can use property or a business or cryptos. And for today, we're going to look at the property side. So welcome to the seven laws of a property investor. And today we're going to look at the seventh law. And the seventh law simply says, structure the deal. Now, when we look at structures, normally we think in terms of entities. In other words, should I buy my property in a PTY limited in a company or should I buy it in my personal name or in a partnership or maybe in a trust? And although that is important, once you start getting, in other words, the moment that you start growing, initially, that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make when they buy their first house that they're going to stay in their residential property and they buy that, for example, in a trust or in a PTY limited. Um, there's so much that you're going to lose by doing it that way that normally I do, not, um, I do not suggest that you do it that way. In other words, we're back to the first law. And the first law says, invest in yourself first before you do anything. Uh, the moment that you're going to listen to the so-called experts, it can and will cost you dearly. You need to make sure that you understand it. Today, I want to focus more on the second part, and that is the second part of structure the deal. And that is where these financial structures and the way that you're going to do this. Of course, you can use the entity structures as well. But the moment that you get what I'm going to show you, uh, you're going to see that it is, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Now, to explain it perhaps a little bit better, I'd like to go to a little PowerPoint presentation uh, that I've prepared. So what on earth is a wealth creator? Uh, but before we get into that, uh, perhaps I've got an ebook, The Seven Laws of a Property Investor, that will supplement this series here on YouTube. And if you really want to get the best value, please make sure that you go and download that. You'll find the link in the description area just below this video. Um, you'll see little flames next to it. Click on that link and that is going to take you to a page where you can download the seven laws. And in the ebook, we're going to get a little bit more into, let's call it the technical side, so that if you want to enhance your, your knowledge and improve that, that is where you're going to find it. Uh, it's just, that is of course, if you want to, you don't have to. So what is a wealth creator? A wealth creator is very simple, a person that knows how to create, to grow and to protect and enjoy their wealth. And I'm going to come back to that just now. But for now, there's something else. How do you do that? What is that path? We call it the wealth creator's method, that path. There's a strategy that we follow in order to do that. So how on earth do you become a wealth creator? Perhaps let me remove my face. So uh, the wealth creator strategy, if we can give a definition to it, is the intelligent use of limited resources to go from where you are to where you want to be in the shortest possible time with the least amount of risk. Now, risk is what's going to keep us from moving forward. And risk is the most important part to a wealth creator because as a wealth creator, we do not take any risk or we want to minimize or mitigate that risk 
to as low as possible. And one way to do that, of course, is to know what we're doing. Because what is risk? Risk is when you do not know what you're doing. That is what Warren Buffett is saying. One of the greatest investors ever, at least over the last 50 years. So the moment that you do not know what you're doing, then you're taking massive, massive risk. And unfortunately, no one teaches this to us. It's not because we're dumb or we've got a low IQ or that we're stupid or anything like that. But if you do not know that you don't know, how are you going to know it? And the financial institutions will never ever tell you and teach you how to determine risk and what risk really is. Okay, so how do you solve this then? The solution is to get the skills. And there are four high value skills. First of all, the mental skills. Um, which is basically the mindset. If you've got the wrong belief system, there's no way that you're going to do what is needed. It's a three-part series. So first of all, it's the mindset. Then it's the skill set. So you're not going to learn the skills. And then it's the action sets. You're not going to take action simply because, or if you take action, you're going to find that you're not going to get the growth that you'd like to get. So the mental skill is where we really need to focus very strongly strongly on. And I would say that is 95% of your success is going to depend on are you willing to change your mindset. And then once that is in place, then there's only three things that we actually need to learn. High income skills or high value income skills, high value business skills. And then once you start generating an income or a surplus, then the high value investment skills. And of all these skills, the investment skills will be the most important part. In other words, you can have a full-time job and you can love your job and you can use that for security, but the surplus that you're getting there, you can channel into the high investment skills. And there are three skills that I focus on. The business side, the property that we're busy with at the moment, the real estate, and then lastly, the cryptocurrencies. And by combining these, you can get very, very powerful, let's call it structures. But today we're only going to focus on the property or the real estate. And as I've said, on the financial structure. So risk is when we do not know what we're doing. So what is a wealth creator? Back to the beginning. A wealth creator is a person that knows how to create, to grow, to enjoy and to protect their wealth. But here's the trick. As you can see in this image, the protection, the blue part, that is the foundation because that is if you want to become rich you have to lower the risk you have to protect yourself but you have to do it in such a way that you protect the creation part you have to protect the growth that that you've got plus the growth on it plus you have to do it in such a way in other words enjoy it that you're going to get the maximum benefit from it but here's a small problem you're going to find that the richer you become, in other words, the more money you're going to start to make, the more opportunities you are going to create for others to try to take away that wealth. And this is what I'd like to focus on today and to bring this to you so that you can see the power of basically this. So the protection part is the most important part. And the way that I'd like to explain it to you is as follows. What's the Worst, your worst enemy that you can have irrespective of where you are in the world the moment that you start on this process to become rich. Your worst enemy is going to be what we call your tax risk. I don't care in what country you are but tax is really what is going to rob you without you knowing that you are being robbed. So let's get a little bit deeper into tax so that you can get the understanding of what it means and why I say what I'm saying. So you're going to find that whatever you earn will be taxed. Now there's a threshold where the first, um, I think about 70, 80,000 Rand that you're going to earn, there's no tax on that because of that, let's call it the threshold. But thereafter it's going to work on a sliding scale and the more money you're going to make, the more taxes you are going to pay. So that in the event that you really start earning serious money, here in South Africa, you're going to pay 45% above a certain threshold. Now, what happens? You earn that money. But the second type of tax is whatever you spend your money on is also going to be taxed. For example, if you buy a nice car, immediately we call it VAT, and you're going to pay VAT on that car. In other words, that's the second way that 
the government, so to speak, is going to take money from you, perhaps without even you knowing it. If you start saving your money and you grow your money, believe it or not, that that you keep and grow, you're going to be taxed on that. We call it capital gains tax. Now, on top of that, when you die, you're going to pay tax again. So the rich people, the more you earn, the more you keep, the more estate duties here in South Africa you are going to pay. And I hope that you can see that with each and every one of these, let's call it variables in tax, you need to understand how it works and how to offset that risk. And the worst of all these taxes is something that very few people take note of, and that is what we call inflation. So inflation is literally, although you think that you are getting richer, the way that the government is structured, not only in South Africa, but around the world, in such a way that you're actually going to get less. And it's not because the prices of goods and services will increase. It's simply because they are printing more and more money so that their debt repayments will be less. In other words, they, they pay good debt, so to speak, with bad money. And we need to take that actually into consideration. And most people, again, don't do that because we don't understand how the system operates. Now, let me give you a practical example. And I'd like to go to Excel spreadsheet for this. Say, for example, you've got the skill and you can take a hundred rand and you can turn the hundred rand and get a 100% growth on that. In other words, you grow it to 200 Rand. Next year, you do exactly the same. You take the 200 Rand that you've got, you don't touch the capital, you turn it into 400 Rand, then into 800, you 800, you double that to 1600, 3200 Rand. In 10 years time, you're going to sit with 102,000. In other words, you've got a full-time job, but this is like your hobby. And because you've got that skill, the wealth creators, uh, method, the skills that, 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 that I'm talking about. Because you've got that, you know how to double your money. And you do that for 20 years. So after 20 years, you're going to have 104,857,000 Rand. Now, check here. What happens if you have to pay 45% tax? Say, for example, you're earning quite a lot of money already right from the word go. It's just a hypothetical scenario because you're very quickly going to run into this situation. What's going to happen if there's on the 100 Rand 45%? Well, you've get it, guessed it. In other words, 100 Rand, you've got the same skill set that you've applied, but in this case, it's going to be income. And because it's income, it's going to be tax. So on that 100 Rand for the year, 45% of the 100 Rand will go to SARS, in other words, to receiver. He's going to take or she's going to take the 45 Rand, that leaves you with 55 Rand. And that 55 Rand plus the 100 Rand that you started, that is your capital, in other words, 155. The 155 then becomes the principle that you're going to use in order to do this again. So what does it mean? It simply means the 155, 100 percent on that is 310, which means 155 Rand will be profits. That means 69 Rand 75 cents tax. That leaves you with 85. And if you continue doing that over the next 20 years, you're going to have in your pocket 640,669 Rands and 37 cents. Versus a person that understands this, he or she is going to have 104 million on condition that they understand how it works and that there is no tax. Now, immediately people say, honest, but th this is impossible. Everyone should be able to do this. Unfortunately, they do not teach this to us. And because they do not teach that to us so that we can do it, we start giving our money away or we start to speculate because in our mind, we think that we have to do certain things. In other words, to generate money. And with property, it's a long-term investment. In other words, I'm not a speculator. I'm not a developer simply because I understood this principle when I developed the Property Pro investment system. So I hope that to some of you, this was kind of like a, a wake-up call. And it is for that reason that we've got the seven laws. So the first law is invest in yourself. Understand your mindsets first. Um, so it's the mindset, then gain the skills. 
and then the action steps. This that I've just showed you is on condition that you've got the skill set and that you'll keep to this over a period of time. Of course, everyone is not going to go for a 20 year term. Some of you will go for a far shorter term, but the implication is this that I've showed you. And the only way to do that is by taking action. But there are two ways to take action. The one is the normal way, where you're going to do it the wrong way, so to speak. And the second way is the wealth creator's way, where you understand. Now, we say the second law of a property investor is income is more important than capital. But do you know that there's a twist to this? And I've actually just showed you that twist. And that twist simply says that if you can turn income into capital, that is the ideal. That is what you should strive for. But that will not happen unless you've got the right mindset. And it will definitely not happen unless you've got the right skill sets by taking and then taking the right actions. In other words, the first law is crucial that we invest in ourselves and in the future, our future to build that legacy. Now, the third law is we need to be in control. If you're not going to take control, then SARS is going to do it. In other words, and he or she, I don't know if it's a he or a she, they're going to take 45% just like that. Then always buy from a motivated seller. The reason for that is with that motivated seller, when we got to that lesson, I did not really go and went in, uh, deep into it. But with this, you can already start setting up the financial structures by simply knowing how to buy from a motivated seller. So look for the motivated sellers. The fifth law, I think by now you understand that and know that, that is do the calculations, the short thing. In other words, do not become emotionally involved. Do not fall uh, in love with the property. Fall in love with the deal. Right. And that is the fifth law. The sixth law is negotiate your way to freedom. And that negotiation, this that I've showed you today by applying the seventh law, is where you negotiate. But you don't go to SARS or to the bank manager. That is part of that that you'll find in the PDF. But it is to negotiate with you to say, OK, by sticking to a very specific plan and by going through all this trouble to learn this, because all skills are learnable and teachable. No one is born with these skills. Simply by doing that, you're going to sit with 104 million at the end of the day. And then there are ways that you can enjoy that money without paying a cent income tax. Of course, a little bit more advanced, but the moment that you understand the, the, how important that control is and that negotiations, and that negotiation, as I've said, actually starts with yourself, where you're going to negotiate with yourself to get the best possible deal for yourself and for your family. And then the last one is this that we are busy, and that is structure the deal. And there are two ways. The first one is entity, and most people think that just by buying a property in a trust or in a PTY limited, that they're going to be well off. That is not the truth. Simply because you can have the best entity or financial structure uh, entity structure in the world. But if you do not get the right properties, that entity means nothing. And then the second part, this that I've showed you today, is on the financial structures. And for that, you need to get the knowledge. In other words, you need to understand how it works. Something that I think can help for you will be the Property Pro Investment System. By simply understanding the system, the 27 variables, and understanding how to structure the deal, you're going to find that all seven of these laws will come together and you're going to be in a far better position than a person that puts in the same amount of time that perhaps have got the same skill set except for this last part, right? They put in the same period of time. The one person is going to end up with 100 and 4,857,000 Rand, and the other person is going to end up with 640,669 Rand. The great news is that you and only you can decide which person do you want to be. And this is the beauty about being a wealth creator, where you can create, grow, enjoy your money by protecting that and protecting yourself and protecting your family and protecting that money. I really hope that you found value in this series. Now, if you do, please do me a favor. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so, and then click that bell icon so that you'll be the first to be notified. So if you're serious about this, 
How can you go about in taking this to the next level? The first thing, of course, is to order uh, the ebook. Just below that link, you're going to find another link, and that is the Property Accelerator Masterclass. It's a webinar, and I'd like to invite you to that webinar. In that webinar, you're going to get a far better picture, and you, the picture that you're going to form in your mind will be far better now that you know the seven laws than if you did not know the law. So maybe you've attended that webinar, but attend it again. Simply because now that you understand the basics, the seven laws, you're going to say, okay, honest, but now it makes sense in the event that you did not get it the first time. If you've never been there, please make sure, click on that link. You'll find it in the description area. It is really powerful. There are three secrets that I'm going to share with you. The first secret is supplementary to this one, and that's going to change your life. And it's the only thing that you have to do in order to become successful. And it's part of this 104 million that I'm talking about in this lesson. The second part is, the second secret is that you do not need any qualification, financial background, or you don't even have to pass math. There's a easy, easy way that you can get exactly the same kind of results that I'm getting and that my students are getting. The third secret has got four accelerators built into it. And we're going to take an analysis and take step by step and showing you by investing in yourself how powerful that can be and how much money you can make literally from one single property. So I really hope that I'm going to see you there. So thank you for your time and I'll see you then in the next lesson in the Wealth Creation series.